This is the news at 6 on NBC6 HD. A police cruiser en route to an emergency call last night slammed into a car and sent several people to the hospital. One person died in that crash. And today we learn that there's more sad news to tell you about after this accident last night. The crash happened at Northwest 3rd Avenue and 8th Street in Miami. Hank Tester's live with that. And Hank, the big question last night was, did police officers have the sirens on when this accident happened? Well, police say that they indeed did have those sirens and red lights flashing. And also we learned just this afternoon from a family member that a teenage mother in that car involved in the accident lost her unborn child. Here's what we know. I just want to know who was at fault, who caused the accident, what happened. Another rush visit to Jackson Memorial Hospital. A family cousin, one of six injured in this Sunday night accident. One dead, two police officers injured, along with four others, all rushed to Jackson ER. It sounds horrific, man. It was crazy, man. I came down the block just to see, you know. One of those injured, a pregnant woman. She's hospitalized. Onlookers claim that when Miami Fire Rescue got to the scene, they treated police officers first. No preferential treatment was given last night. So everybody was pretty much transported around the same time, which means everybody received the same treatment. And concerns that the police officers were not using their sirens or red lights. And where were they going in such a hurry? Uh, we have interviewed witnesses, uh, which uh, are civilian independent witnesses who confirmed that this police officer did have both lights and sirens on as he approached this intersection. Basically, this officer was responding to an emergency call to assist another officer. Where was that? That I don't know, Hank. I don't have that information. Police say the driver failed to yield to the police car, but the family of Bessie Sanchez, who lost her life, and their cousin, who lost her baby, see it differently. So we'll determine that in, in court when we meet in court. Our, our family is, is very serious. Uh, we've, we've had two lives lost in this, on this occasion, and um, it's, it's sad. Now back live, Tony Brown uh, telling me that the young woman who lost her child, according to him, on life support tonight at 7 o'clock. Of course, this is a tragedy for not only the family, but also for the uh, police department, Miami Police. Tonight at 7, we hear more from the family about those who passed on reporting live. I'm Hank Tester, NBC6. All right, Hank, we're going to talk about the weather right now. Here's a live look. Our Key, uh, key West from our La Concha cam, a beautiful day down in the Conk Republic. But not everyone in South Florida enjoyed a nice day. Chief Meteorologist Paul Diano joins us. And, Paul, there were some storms out there today. Joel, some heavy thunderstorms. Usually sea breeze storms not impacting the Keys. So they'll enjoy some beautiful weather down there. But as we speak, some sea breeze storms in extreme northwest Miami-Dade and southwest Broward with this new batch lining up just west of I-75 from Pembroke Pines down through Miramar, Miami Lakes, West Chester, out toward Miccosukee, and all the way south to Doral, and the Dolphin Expressway. Not moving very quickly, and it's going to be there for a while. Earlier today, some very strong thunderstorms with lots of lightning and a tremendous amount of heavy rainfall over the course of about a half hour. Eastern sections of Weston, about three quarters of an inch of rain. Right over top of Davie, east of I-75, south of 595, one area about an inch and a half of rainfall and two inches or more right along the Sawgrass Expressway up toward Coral Springs and Parkland. So some heavy rain earlier in Broward and heavy rain as we speak in Miami-Dade County. Risk of tropical development, virtually zero. One area that the Hurricane Center meteorologists are watching Watching this batch of thunderstorms due south of Biloxi, Mississippi. It's not anticipated to do much before it makes uh, landfall, if you will, moves inland over New Orleans over the next couple days. So the tropics are very quiet. This hurricane season compared to 2007 and normal, we are doubling up last year with four named storms already, but nothing on the horizon. I'll tell you what is on the horizon, a lot more rain. We'll talk about our rain chances coming up in a few minutes, but if you have evening plans tonight, or maybe you're heading out tomorrow morning, do something with the family. Always check the radar before you go at NBC6.net. Several people are injured in a multi-car crash on I-95. Now, it's not clear what led to the accident, which happened this afternoon in the southbound lanes at Griffin Road. A total of five cars were involved. One ended up pinned under the back of a flatbed truck. Rescue crews had to cut open the car to pull the driver out. In all, seven people, including two children, were taken to the hospital. However, none of the injuries are life-threatening.
The city of Tamarack went fishing today, though no one will be bragging about this smelly catch. Hundreds of fish turned up dead over the weekend in the waterways of the Woodmont Country Club. Health experts are testing the fish tonight to figure out what killed them. But at this point, investigators think it may not have been a chemical. They think it could have been caused by all that extra rain we've been having. And house at 2515 Northwest 50th Street. That's in Miami. Flames and smoke were seen coming from the roof, which brought firefighters from three stations to the scene. It took them about 25 minutes to put out that blaze. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue says they're still investigating the cause of that fire. Just 99 days until we go to elect a new president. Meanwhile, here in Florida, this was the last day to register if you want to vote in next, next month's state primary. Political reporter Nick Bogert's live at our elections desk. So, uh, Nick, the big question, is it too late to register as of right now? Well, you can still, let's be clear, you can still sign up to vote for uh, the big one. That's the November presidential contest. Today was the deadline to sign up, though, for that August 25th primary vote. Yep, the book, books have closed. And South Florida, like an awful lot of the country, is continuing to change hue. More blue, less red. Alba Arbaso is about to vote in her first U.S. presidential contest. This Nicaraguan-born new voter is emotional about it. Gracias al presidente Reagan, que fue muy bueno. She gives thanks to Ronald Reagan, who allowed her and other Nicaraguans to emigrate here, and she will support another Republican, John McCain, in this year's presidential contest. But we found some other Nicaraguan first-time voters registering Democratic. My vote is for Obama. And since New Year's in Miami-Dade, Democratic registration is up 51,000, Republican only 7,000, which is less than the 9,000 signing up with no party affiliation. Oddly, in Florida's most Democratic county, Broward, the election year voter sign-up leader isn't D's or R's, it's other. But still, Broward's Democratic rolls have increased 41,000, Republican just 9,000, while the number of those others has gone up 44,000. Perhaps motivated by the prospect of the first ever African American major party nominee, blacks have been signing up at a furious pace. Voter rolls up more than 10 percent in Broward this year alone. Larry Allen plans to back Obama, motivated by the economy, energy and the war. Those resources that we're using to fight a war, we should be using to fix our infrastructure here. Nugent Walker just returned to Florida from Georgia, a big Hillary Clinton backer, and over the years he says a fan of John McCain, though not tempted to support him now. But now he's clearly, uh, in my view, ultra-conservative, so I'm, I'm definitely a Democrat. So if it comes down to it, I vote uh, Obama. But this year's Democratic registration edge won't necessarily translate vote for vote into Obama support. Rosalpina Perez registered Democrat. Estoy pensando. She's uh, still thinking about her choice. She likes both men, thinks that, in fact, would be good presidents. Back to you. On our website, NBC6.net, you can click on the politics link for headlines from the campaign trail. Plus, if you click on the Are You Registered to Vote tab, you'll have links to register online. Our NBC6 Olympic countdown is now at 10 days until the Beijing Games begin. U.S. gymnast and reigning gold medalist Paul Ham will not be defending his title in Beijing. Injuries have forced him to withdraw from the U.S. team. Ham broke his hand in May and injured his rotator cuff while trying to speed up his recovery. Also tonight, encouraging news from a Maryland hospital where a Coral Springs coach with se several local athletes heading to the games is gaining strength after learning last week that he may only have a few days to live. Andrea Brody joins us now live with an update on Michael Loberg. Hopefully he's doing better, Andrea. He is, Julia. Loberg just told me doctors can finally start treatment in the morning, and that is good news in this very difficult time. You know, in the year that I've gotten to know Loberg, I'm convinced of one thing. He would hate this. Now, here's a man who loathed any distractions. For example, a new boyfriend could cost one of his swimmers three-tenths of a second, and that could mean everything. Now, eight athletes are focusing their attention on him, and this battle commands much more than three-tenths of a second. Oy, 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 oy. A usually boisterous coach, barely able to stand. This is Michael Loberg poolside in Carl Springs, just what? two days before entering no, the hospital. If you were 6'6", then he was 6'9". Hold on one second. At the time, he thought the long hours and a bad back explained the dizziness, the weakness. After all, the hopes of eight Olympic swimmers what? rested on his shoulders. 
Yes, I am tired. Uh, these things don't come easy. I mean, uh, it's, it leaves a toll on the coach. By the weekend, the athletes were without their head coach. Loberg was diagnosed with aplastic anemia, his body not producing new blood cells. Another new American record. It had been a whirlwind journey for the German-born coach. Only a few weeks earlier, the highlight of a long career. His star pupil, 41-year-old Dara Torres, qualifies for her fifth Olympic Games. This is bloodless yeah. power. Torres, along with seven other lesser-known athletes, would be heading to Beijing. As they grew stronger, though, their coach became weaker. But it is the joy of seeing these young swimmers reach their dreams that kept Loberg pushing, even when his body was clearly failing. Uh, for me, that is uh, satisfying because I think uh, it is a nice thing for a coach and a team to give kids the opportunity to go to the Olympic Games, which is, in my opinion, one of the last uh, spectacular events in this world that you cannot really... Um Doctors just discovered another underlying condition making treatment difficult. The coach tells me it's like hitting the lotto twice. The experts do believe, though, that they can make him well again, but the next three days will be crucial and we'll keep you updated. Andrea Brody, NBC6. All right, Andrea, we'll keep an eye on that one. And also, I will be heading to Beijing this weekend to cover the Olympic Games. Log on to NBC6.net and click on the Olympic Zone tab to read my daily behind the scenes blog. In an NBC News exclusive, Brian Williams sat down for an interview with Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, the interview taking place in Tehran. The nightly news anchor asked the Iranian leader why their country is so interested in nuclear technology. We are not working to manufacture a bomb. We don't believe in a nuclear bomb. To see the entire interview, watch the NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams at 6.30. That follows our newscast. Well, the Marlins are playing great baseball in the heat of the pennant chase. All new at 7 o'clock, Not Your Average Joe will break down why the fish are still struggling to reel in fans to the ballpark. A mother makes an emotional plea for helping in finding her 13-year-old daughter. We're going to have her story next. And the Gators take home another national title, but, uh, well, the school's president might not want to put this banner up in a stadium. We'll explain what that is when the news at 6 returns. Time and temperature from Commerce Bank. Whether buying or selling a home, BuyOwner is your complete solution. BuyOwner gave me a complete how-to package on selling my home. They not only saved us money, they helped us understand the process. Thanks to the virtual tour, I received calls from across the country. Thanks, BuyOwner. If you think all batteries are the same, consider this. It was a beautiful day in the park. Kevin, can you hand me That what? turned to panic in Kevin? an instant. And everything depended on a brick Kevin. house child locator. Kevin! Kevin! And packed inside every locator is the only battery brick house trusts, Duracell. So even if you hope you'll never have to use it, it still has to work. Duracell, trusted everywhere. The Olympic Games are brought to you on NBC6 HD by the Miccosukee Tribe of Indians of Florida. I will never, ever forget being on the podium. All three flags going up at the same time with the national anthem. I was just so overcome with emotion that I completely forgot the words. You want to cry, but at the same time, you're excited. Carrie Walsh, beach volleyball. Jeremy Warner, track and field. Natalie Coughlin, swimming. It's an honor to wear the USA uniform. The Miccosukee Trump of Indians of Florida are proud to support NBC6 HD's broadcast of the Olympic Games. <laughs> that swore it would never get old, didn't. Welcome to the summer of life. And now there's an official hair treatment of the summer of your life. New Touch of Grey from Just For Men. Let you keep a little grey. Works gradually. Just comb in, rinse. <laughs> never trust anybody over 90. Keep a little grey with New Touch of Grey. Vote for me. Vote for me. Vote for me. This year, there will be many people asking for your vote. None more important than the children of Miami-Dade. Vote for after-school programs. Vote for my health. And safety. For my future. And for mine. The Children's Trust funds hundreds of programs at over a thousand sites, serving thousands and thousands of children. By voting yes for the Children's Trust, you will be helping us help even more children. Vote yes! Vote yes! Vote yes! On August 26th, vote yes for the Children's Trust. Paid political ad paid for by the Children's Trust Political Committee.
Looking for a new job? Watch Job of the Day powered by Jobbing.com. Weekday mornings beginning at 6 a.m. on Today in South Florida. Go jobbing with Jobbing.com. At Buy Owner, our best selling point is our customer. Thanks, Buy Owner. 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 I love that company. Thanks, Buy Owner. Closed captioning on NBC6 is brought to you in part by Ashley Furniture Home Stores, now offering delivery today, every day. I'm her mom. I should be able to fix it, and I haven't been able to fix nothing. No matter how many A mother's grief spilling me. out in an emotional interview no today. The time. mother is desperate to find her missing 13-year-old daughter, Amanda Delegato. She was last seen on Thursday. Tisha Lewis live in Miami with this heartbreaking story tonight. Tisha. Well, Joel, we're told the 13 year old never made it to camp here at Grapeland Park last week. That was apparently the last time she was seen. Police telling us she's gone missing nearly half a dozen times, but this time family members believe she could be in danger and police are releasing this safety alert while a mother makes a desperate plea for help. When you see this, what goes through your mind as a mother, your, your child? I'm scared. I'm scared that something's happened, that maybe she's going to be one of those kids that, that have, you know, that they, they call you and they tell you, she's, I'm scared that she's going to die. Her tears tell the story of a mother face to face with rock bottom. I feel like a totally failure because I'm her mom. I should be able to fix it, and I haven't been able to fix nothing. No matter how many times we've gone to counseling, no matter how many times anything, she's still a mess. Sonia Delgado's youngest daughter, 13-year-old Amanda, gone once again. Police describing the teen as an habitual runaway, but the single mother of two says this time is different. She might be doing things she's not supposed to be doing to get money. The mother going through a divorce works full time living in this efficiency. She says she's tried everything, including counseling, even rehab. She was on drugs for a while and she was found in Opalaka in the triangle. Police say Amanda has run away at least three times in the last three months. She was last seen Thursday with neighbor Larry Redeens, who takes the teen to camp. He says she ran off and he could not stop her. Am I going to put my hands on a 13 year old girl? Then I'm in trouble. Please, Amanda, please come home, please, and stay home. I know it's not much, but this is all we, we have. We're a family. Please, Amanda, please. And take a close look. Police need your help. This is Amanda Delgado. She's 5'3", brown hair, brown eyes. Uh, Mom says she suffers from anxiety and depression. If you have any information, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 305 Four seven one tips and Amanda was last seen in the area of 18th Street and 36th Avenue. That's the very latest from Miami. Tisha Lewis, NBC6. Well, there is a glimmer of good news when it comes to filling up your tank. The national average retail price of gas has fallen below $4 a gallon for the first time in eight weeks. Prices dropped almost 11 cents last week to an average of $3.96 a gallon. The fall is credited to a drop in crude oil costs. Now, the cost of regular unleaded gasoline is still up, though, $1.08 a gallon from a year ago. Here in South Florida, the average is still above $4. And still ahead here on NBC6 News HD. The Gators basketball and football teams won national titles recently, but now the school has won a less distinguished honor. We'll tell you what that is coming up. Down here in South Florida, yeah, we've got our camera a little bit wet. There's some rain right around Miccosukee, up toward Pembroke Pines and Miramar. We'll talk about our rain chances for tonight, especially for the next several days. Coming up in the sixth day, next. The Marine Forecast is brought to you by Miami Seaquarium's Dolphin Harbor. Come swim with our dolphins. Tonight's primetime lineup is brought to you by your Southern Chevy dealers. Gas friendly to gas free. Chevy offers seven models with 30 MPG highway or better. Visit Chevy.com to see how. Did you know in less than a year, your TV could stop working? That's because all TV stations are required to switch to digital. And if you're not ready, you could be in the dark. No news, no shows, no joke. People who get TV with an antenna will watch their TVs fade to black. 
Don't get cut off. Act now before the switch. For everything you'll need to get the picture, visit NBC6.net slash digital. Honey, can we go home now? Can we go home now? Sure. Unless the glasses can perform miracles, don't pay more than you have to. Are you like me? I have high blood pressure and I have high cholesterol. But he treats both with one pill. Cadillac makes it easier to manage my two conditions. Cadillac contains two proven medicines, one for lowering high blood pressure, the other for lowering high cholesterol, combined in one pill. Cadillac. That works for me. Cadillac is one of many treatment options, in addition to diet and exercise, that he discussed with his doctor. Cadillac is not for everyone. It's not for people with liver problems and women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. To check for liver problems, you need simple blood tests. Tell your doctor about any heart problems and all other medications you are taking. Or if you experience muscle pain or weakness, as they may be a sign of a rare but serious side effect. Along with diet and exercise, Cadillac effectively lowers both high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Two medicines, one pill. Ask your doctor if Cadillac is right for you. It's on everybody's mind these days. So trade up to better fuel economy now at the Chevy Model Year-End Event with a fuel-efficient 08 Chevy. Get 0% APR for 72 months on these 08 Silverado half-ton models or 08 Avalanche models with an available EPA-estimated 20 MPG highway. Or get the same great offer on the 08 Tahoe or Suburban with an EPA-estimated 20 MPG highway. See your local Chevy dealer. How do they feel? Unless the glasses can perform miracles, don't pay more than you have to. It afflicts four and a half million Americans, but some are now able to live longer and better lives. The new science and medicine helping to battle this cruel disease. Confronting Alzheimer's, this week on NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. And now, Chief Meteorologist Paul Diano with NBC6 Weather Plus, South Florida's only high-definition forecast. And good evening to you. It kind of felt like a Monday outside, and it's a slow evening commute home on Interstate 75, courtesy of some new rain showers now all the way up 75 to where it meets up with 595 and heads off to the east and along the sawgrass. Let me show you the radar as we speak with that mostly cloudy sky outside. Downtown Miami, you're looking good. The Keys, you're fine. Even coastal Broward is fine. These are inland sections of Broward County now, actually uh, off my image. Things are moving so quickly. Zoomed into here. Now the rain's up there. Miramar, Pembroke Pines, Weston, Cooper City, all picking up some thunderstorms, but clearing out in Doral, in Westchester, in Hialeah, and in Medley. So Miami day drying out, but this storm lifting up to the north. With that rain nearby, Miami, you dropped all the way down to 81 degrees. Today's high 91 winds out of the northwest. The outflow from those thunderstorms just off to the west of the airport. In Fort Lauderdale, with not much in the way of shower activity nearby, humid southeast wind coming off the ocean and a current temperature of 88 degrees. It's 87 for Pompano Beach, 86 right now in Pembroke Pines. Cooler with those showers nearby in Kendall and Miccosukee, upper 70s there. Homestead 86, but the keys right around 90 degrees because this rain is nowhere near you. As for the instigator of this rainfall, it's the sea breeze, and we'll stay the sea breeze for the next several days. You can see up and down the spine of the peninsula, nothing but that sea breeze convergence. Winds coming in from two different directions, meeting in the middle, going up, and up is where we see the rain and the thunderstorms. As for tropical moisture, plenty of it. No cold fronts coming from the north to wash things out. No real tropical waves or tropical moisture surges to increase the amount, just a healthy amount of moisture out there for the next several days. And the sea breeze will be what kicks off the thunderstorm activity all the way through the week. With the steering winds tomorrow out of the south, I think that the thunderstorms will favor inland locations once again. So a much better chance of rain out toward Tamarack than, let's say, Oakland Park or downtown Fort Lauderdale along Las Olas. Same story in Miami-Dade. Not so much rain along the beach, but out toward Doral and Westchester, yeah, you're going to have a better chance of rain. Thunderstorms mainly inland for Tuesday. Toward Wednesday and Thursday, the steering winds change just a little bit. Now they'll be coming out of the southwest, pushing those storms back toward everybody. So inland and coastal locations have a good bet, better than a 50% coverage of rainfall beginning on Wednesday. So the best rain 
chance with the sea breeze will be right smack dab in the middle of the day. Mornings, not bad. Evenings, not bad. And keep an eye to the sky. Don't cancel any outdoor plans. We'll have some heavy rain with those thunderstorms throughout South Florida for the next several days. So scattered showers and thunderstorms this evening. Overnight tonight, low 78 degrees. And check out the rain coverage. We're talking 50 or 60 percent coverage all the way through the week. So keep that umbrella handy. Your grass is going to be happy, but your outdoor plans, maybe not so much. Highs around 90, clearing out next weekend. Well, the Princeton Review has named the University of Florida this year's number one party school in the nation. The Gators have placed second, third, and fourth since 1998, but this is the first time the university has been named number one. Florida also came in first for students who study the least in college and fill their stadium seats. Coming up in second, the University of Mississippi, followed by Penn State University. I think it makes mom and dad proud. <laughs> I don't know. It is a dubious distinction, that's for sure. Woo. I'm Jackie Nesperl. And I'm Joel Connable. Of course, coming up on South Florida Nightly News at 7 o'clock. Cleanup is underway in a South Florida neighborhood as investigators try to figure out what's behind this fishy situation. Teen lifeguards moving from the side of the pool to the side of the road to learn an important lesson. And the U.S. basketball team is warming up in Beijing. We'll tell you how to get a behind-the-scenes look from a familiar name. Join us at 7. And I'm Joe Rose coming up in sports. The Marlins are ready for a big home series starting tonight against the Red Hot Mets. Plus, the Dolphins continue two a days trying to improve on offense. Those stories coming up next. Get cash now. Morningstar's jewelers and pawnbrokers can get you immediate cash loans for your jewelry at the lowest rate in the state of Florida. Only 5%. For the most cash at the absolute lowest rate, visit us now. Nobody beats Morningstar's. It's the homemade that makes the everyday more meaningful. And KitchenAid is there every step of the way. With performance you can expect, quality you can see, and craftsmanship you can feel. The Architect Series 2 family, made for a lifetime of gathering in the kitchen. KitchenAid, for the way it's made. Get 0% financing for 18 months with the purchase of KitchenAid brand appliances $4.99 and above, only at Brandsmart USA. Hey, Mr. Opportunity here. I've got some really good economic news for you. It's Honda clearance time. The perfect time to get your hands on a brand new Honda. Why Honda? Well, because they last a long time and have better residual value than other cars. True. Look at that legal down below. And that means you can keep more of your money. I live for this stuff. The 2008 Honda clearance. For plenty of ways to keep more of your money, go to shophonda.com. I'm Mr. Opportunity, and I approve this message. How much you got, Reese? Oh, at least 100. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Oh, I just had some loose change. So I was right about this place. They're open early, they're open late, they're open seven days a week. Yes, you were right. There's no place like commerce. Experience America's most convenient bank. Would you like an exciting career as a paralegal? The University of Miami offers a course that allows you to earn your paralegal certificate in just four months. Learn more at our free information sessions in Miami and Fort Lauderdale. Log on to MiamiParalegal.com or call 305-284-5400. Yes, at Ross, it's a brand new day. You're gonna see Ross in a whole new way. The great brands you're looking for are the brands we got in store. You're gonna see Ross in a whole new way. Yes, at Ross, it's a brand new day. Ross has the leading brands, the latest looks, for way less than department store prices. Yes, at Ross, it's a brand new day. Been hanging around a long time for a great tasting chicken sandwich? The Colonel's Craven Filet has arrived. KFC's taken the taste of original recipe with its 11 herbs and spices and put it on an all white meat breast filet. Pair one up with our new Colonel's chips. And for a great family value, get a 10 piece original recipe bucket for just $9.99. Life tastes better with KFC. Morningstar's Jewelers and Pawnbrokers has the lowest wholesale prices on overstock diamonds, jewelry, and watches. No reasonable offer will be refused. Come in today. Nobody beats Morningstar's. 
Well, if the Marlins aren't on top of the National League East after the middle of the week, they have only themselves to blame. The Fish kick off a three-game series with the first-place Mets tonight. The Fish trail New York by just two games and Philly by one in the division. And the sweep likely puts the Marlins in the driver's seat. But recent history isn't in their favor. Underway. New York is red hot. Winners of 15 of their last 19 and 12 of their last 14 at Dolphin Stadium. The good news? The Martins have Ricky Nolasco on the hill. He leads the team with 10 wins. Time cools teams down. I think, uh, you know, you can't stay hot forever, I don't think so. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully this heat will cool them off. Everything's starting to click for them, so hopefully we can, um, you know, battle them, um, you know, tonight and, and try not to, you know, let, the, let everything click together for them, you know, try to, you know, switch the momentum to our side. Only a few days into training camp, and it's pretty normal for many players to have dead legs. But after yesterday's practice, it's clear that it's going to take some time for this team to all be on the same page. Today, the Finns looked a little more comfortable as the team seemed to have put yesterday's ugly offensive practice behind them. But Coach Tony Sperano is making it clear to his players that everyone will be held accountable. No excuses.